So hello friend. Uh, in this video, we will see the SQL event of ion of ionic framework. So uh, we have to detect uh, either we are scrolling up or down or we just stop the scrolling. So first, let let's first check the demo of this of this application. So you can see uh, the application in your browser, and we have some data on the page, and uh, also a, a scroll bar is here so let's let's try to scroll it down so you can see uh, it's showing a scroll down uh, continuously and when i stop it's showing a scroll end and when i try to scroll up it's showing a scrolling up and i stopped then the scrolling end message is here and again if i scroll down you can see the scroll down down message here and stop then scrolling end message so here is the message and when i try to again up then scrolling up message here so you can see uh, it's happening like this so this this is the uh, example and let's check the code so you can see uh, we have html and ts file in HTML and TS file, uh, I just bind the data. <coughs> we have some data <coughs> inside data array, and we just loop uh, through ng4 and plot the data. Uh, and data is bind on ng4 uh, to the length 100. So uh, on on the app, on the page load, we have some data, and the data is binded inside in in ion list. And in ion content, you can check we have some uh, event that is first is ion scroll. So uh, on so this event will help uh, ion scroll event will help whenever we are scrolling uh, it detect the uh, scrolling basically. So whenever we scroll uh, by using this uh, event, uh, this method will be executed scroll method. And when the scroll is end. Uh, this this we have to add this event ion scroll end for detecting the uh, scroll uh, end end event. So whenever the scroll is end, this method will be called a scroll end. And also we have to bind a, we have to bind a property that is a scroll event is true. And after the after that after binding this property scroll event true, then we can uh, add the this event ion scroll and ion scroll end. So if if we check the ion scroll uh, scroll event, then let's check the method. So inside a scroll event, uh, you can see we we get the we have the event parameter, and event have a detail property which returns an object, and object delta y property, and it assigned to a val variable. If val value is greater than zero. Uh, then we are uh, then we are scrolling down. Otherwise, if it less than uh, zero, then it means we are scrolling up. So, based on this uh, um, condition, we bind the the text to str variable, and this str is uh, added here. So that's why we we see the passage scrolling up, scrolling down. And if we check the scroll end event, so we have to check the scroll end method here. Because a scroll end method is binded in, into the ion scroll end event. So a scroll end simply bind the message scrolling end. So whenever we end the scrolling, the message is scrolling end. So this is the simple way to detect the scrolling. Make sure we you have this, this property added scroll event true and uh, we you you have event by events like ion scroll and ion scroll end to detect scrolling and scrolling end. So this way you can uh, detect the scrolling up and down inside the ionic app. So thanks. This is simple code. Nothing more inside this. So thanks for your time. We will back. We will back with some other video. Thank you.